Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher, and welcome to See Rad. Today we're reviewing some totally rad Star Wars cosplay badges from the Outer Rim. So stay tuned. See Rad. Hi, everybody. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. My friend Nadia from Galaxy's Edge Explorers posted this really cool ID badge from a place called the Outer Rim. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, Fisher totally needs one of those. So before I knew it, Jamie, who is the Outer Rim, contacted me and said, hey, I would love to send you a couple of these to do a review on. So I was like, oh, heck yeah. I would be totally down to do that so they're here we're gonna show you what he sent me I'll give you a little bit of information about Jamie and the Outer Rim and yeah I don't even have to tell you they are actually beyond totally rad so we're rating them already <laughs> so Fisher I am gonna have to set you aside just for a couple minutes but I will need you back up here are you good with that buddy I'm good with that all right little dude Boop. we will see you in a little bit so, Jamie, the Outer Rim, is a longtime Star Wars fan. Back in 1977, when he was only 16 years old, he saw the very first Star Wars movie in the theaters, just like me, but I was about 10 years younger. <laughs> and he just, he fell in love with it. He fell in love with George Lucas's world. And he's been creating these ID badges, cosplay stuff, and props and sets for about the last five years. So when I saw these, like I said, Nadia had hers and I was like, oh, that's really, really super cool. He sent me a box of stuff. I know, I can't wait to show you guys because they are really, really super cool items. First in the bag, he did send me these really cool Outer Rim coins. I have a couple, so maybe if I'm in the park and you have any interest in the Outer Rim, I'll give you a coin. It's got the rebel symbol on one side. Outer Rim on the other, but these are really cool, really, really well made. They're like challenge coins. So yeah, when I'm out and about, I have three extra ones. So maybe when I'm out at the parks, I will be able to hand these out if I remember to put them in my bag. So maybe I should just put them in my bag right now. Okay, they're in my bag. Also in the box was a nice little thank you note that he sends out to anybody who purchases from him and information about the ID badge on how to take it on and off, how to change the battery. But we'll get to that when I show you that badge. I did want to show you a couple of the other little things that he sent me first. One, his business cards are really, really cool. It's, it's metal, I think. Sounds like metal. Feels like metal. But how cool is that? It does have all of his information on there. He has a website. He has Instagram. He has Facebook. And I will have links to all of those things in the description of the video for you. But he also sent me this really cool... This is a magnetic logo disc, and they actually go on the ID badge that I got, so you can interchange them, but he also sells them separately. He's got 15 different ones, and they are magnetic. It has a little magnet back, metal magnet, and this is going to be really great because when we go to Ahsoka Day at Disneyland, I'm going to be able to have a pin, or maybe I can change the logo out on Fisher's ID badge during the Ahsoka time. But really, really cool. Great look to these. Very, very smooth. If it gets a little bit of fingerprints on it, it cleans up really super easy. And then the other thing he sent me is something new he just started making. It's called the Grogu Panel Badge. And it's a little bit smaller than the other ID badges that he makes. So it's good for kids and for things Fisher size. But it is inspired by the little symbol on the front. Actually, let me grab this. It's inspired by this little thing on the military box that Grogu sits in very shortly in the Mandalorian and how cool is this guys it's really really super awesome I think it, it's fun it's it's magnetic so when you're taking the magnets off it's very strong magnets so you don't just pull or it may pull the magnets out 
So you need to just slide it. And then it's got metal on the back there, magnets there, and all of his items on his website do come with a warning. Do not use these if you have a pacemaker because these magnets are super, super strong. They're made to be able to clip onto things that are thick so that you don't lose your badges. But that one's just super fun. It does not light up like some of his other ID badges. But we're going to try this on Fisher. Fisher? I had left the jacket on Fisher so that we could try this on here and see how it looks. This actually is going to go really good with his May the 4th cosplay that we're working on. But just slide the magnets under, slide the ID badge on top. This is a pretty thick jacket, so this will give you an idea of how good that holds on to there. Yeah. What do you guys think? Does that look really cool? I like it. It's my Grogu panel badge. Yes, this is the perfect size for you, Fisher. And I, I'm not sure if this is the jacket that it's going to go on, but it is going to go on something else for May the 4th. But yeah, I know it's way ahead of time to be thinking of that. But if I don't start thinking about stuff like that now, it's not going to happen. <laughs> but very, very cool. Again, great quality on these. I think the, the quality on his stuff is amazing. I've gotten stuff where it's like cheap plastic 3D printed type stuff. This is not. This is very, very high quality and really well made. But Fisher, we're going to take your jacket off because the next item I'm actually going to put on your shirt because we can see it better on there. You good, buddy? I'm good. So this is the main thing, guys. This was what Nadia had, and I was so excited. You know, I was going to buy one. I was just trying to work it into the budget, but I was so glad that he reached out to me to do this. So this is an ID comm badge. So it's an ID communication badge. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's got his name. It's got his rank of foundling and it has his ID number which is 62644 that's also the ID number that he's going to be using for the Joint Smith Union hopefully nobody else takes that but back to the ID badge <laughs> these are really cool so that little Ahsoka thing that I showed you I chose the Mudhorn skull for his but if I want to change that out you just slide it off and then I could put the Ahsoka one on there so that'll be easy. I'll have to take both of those on the day we go there. But this guy's, it's just not pretty like this. It's really pretty like that. It does light up. So when we're in the parks and it's dark out or anywhere wearing this and it's dark out, the little red areas light up. The little panel with his information lights up and just really, really super cool. This is also magnetic, and to get the back off, same thing, you're going to slide it, not pull it. It does take a CR2032 battery, and I'll put a link to those in the description for Amazon. But right here is the little battery panel. You do have to kind of work it. It is closed really, really good. So just pop that off, and that is where the battery goes. But we're going to put this on Fisher so you can see how it looks. So with him, what I first do is make sure I've got it the right way. I do. So we're going to slide this up underneath his shirt. There you go, buddy. And then once I have it in the position I want it in, just clip that on there. I know it's a little bit big for Fisher. It's meant for adults. But I thought it would be really cute if he had his own ID for when we went to Galaxy's Edge. So now if the stormtroopers bother him, he can just be like, hey, I've got my ID. Check it out. I like it on this shirt. I might move it up just a little bit higher. Let's do it a little bit higher and see how that looks. Oh, there we go. Higher on you is fantastic. So this outfit that Fisher has on today, he is working on getting together his outfit for Ahsoka Tano Day. What do you guys think of it so far? I know I gotta fix this is a little bit kind of out of sorts and he's gonna have a different hat on but I didn't want to spoil all of it <laughs> right but 
ID badge. Really, really cool. I love this. We are going to be using this probably every time we go to Disneyland now. I'll at least carry it in my bag with me. If not, Fisher will be wearing it probably most of the time just because it's really, really cool. Especially, I'll probably carry it in my bag and he'll put it on anytime we go into Batu. But we're gonna be there before the 28th, just for a short bit. So I may run in and take some pictures of him with it, just for Instagram and so that Jamie can have them for his Instagram. But really, really super cute, guys. I love it. So prices on everything. The little Grogu panel badge is $15. Remember, it does not light up. These run from 65 to 85, depending on which options that you go with. Where it's silver, it also has the option for gold. You also have the option for weathering on it. This one is not a weathered one but I can do some of that myself if I need to, not a big deal. So this ID badge also comes in a star map version. So if you just get the star map with no weathering, that's what the $65 is. If you upgrade to the ID badge, that's an additional $10. And then if you upgrade to weathering, that is an additional $10. So cost range from 65 to 85 on those. But I love this. Thank, thank you so much, Jamie. This, this is really, really something cool. This is probably the best little Star Wars cosplay prop that we have. Yes. I love it. Thank you so much, Jamie. You're totally rad. Yes, Jamie is totally rad, and I look forward to seeing what he comes up with. Oh, I forgot. These little discs here, that one and the Ahsoka one I have, there's 15 different ones, guys. And here are all the different little logos that you can go with. There is the Mythosaur Skull. You got Rebel Alliance First Order. There's the Halcyon for those fans of the Star Wars Hotel that is no longer in Disney World. The Ahsoka one, I think, yeah, just really, really cool. And he makes some other really cool stuff too. He has an Imperial Com badge and he has Hera's General Rank badge, which I think is really awesome. I might have to pick one of those up for you, Fisher, for when you do your Hera cosplay. Yeah, that, that would be fun. But beyond totally rad, guys, I do highly recommend this if you want to have something fun, not only to wear to the parks, but to conventions or just in your everyday little play. I don't think this looks too big on Fisher. A little bit smaller would be cool, but like I said, it's an adult size. So maybe even I can put it on my sweater and I can be Fisher for a little while. <laughs> but We'll have to wait and see how it works out in the parks. I cannot wait to go to the parks with this and have some fun. Jamie's information will be in the description of the video for you, so don't forget to check him out. If you have any questions, reach out to him on Instagram. He does answer back really, really quickly, and he's a super nice guy. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, Please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right, little dude? We'll see ya later.